Several of San Francisco's first responders today were honored for their bravery and service. Two were part of the response to one of the Bay Area's darkest days, and one was given special recognition for his part in organizing a day that spread joy around the country. Applause today as the Rotary Club of San Francisco honored six public servants for their heroism and commitment to the community at the Sir Francis Drake Hotel. Two of today's honorees are from the San Francisco Fire Department, EMS Captains Tony Malloy and Stuart Beach. They responded to the crash of Oceana Airlines Flight 214 at SFO last July. Captain Beach was the medical group supervisor in charge of getting all those injured the care they needed. We train for these things, hoping it never happens. And when it does happen, you resort back to your training. Uh, I'm glad with the training I've had, I was able to go out and do the job they trained me to do. Also honored Captain Tony Malloy, who says he is proud of what every firefighter there did that day. To rescue uh, living people off of that aircraft without uh, um, regard for their own safety, um, it's nothing uh, less than heroic to me. Another honoree had a big hand in one of San Francisco's most joyous days. San Francisco police officer Raymond Padmore was honored for helping to transform the city into Gotham City last November. He gave five-year-old cancer survivor Miles Scott his wish of being that kid for a day. For me, it's an incredible, incredible level of satisfaction because uh, at that point you've realized that you've created the better good. Today's celebrants shrugged off being called heroes and said they were just doing their job. First responders honored today also include members of the San Francisco Sheriff's Department and the Coast Guard. In addition to all the applause and recognition today at the Sir Francis Drake Hotel, they're also getting the gift of a free night stay there.